Welcome to a video on how to get good at the party imp, the quintessential upgrade to the base variant if you've ever seen one. Players who can master this 80s party timing shit stain can very easily dominate the ever living shit out of the enemy team and become the proud owner of hate mail central avenue. Let's get started. The party imp is a variant of the imp class who thinks he's so fucking swag that he comes with no weapon skins, even though he absolutely fucking should. His primary weapon functionally is the exact same as the stock imp in every capacity, but with one minor difference being that party imp has 5 extra ammo in the magazine at 40 rounds compared to the stock imp's 35. This may not sound like a lot, but this not only allows him to pump out more damage over a longer period of time, but also means that your weapon weapon generally has less downtime, so you can more comfortably go after beefier classes with your larger damage per clip. So, right from the fucking get go, we already have what is essentially just a slightly better version of the base imp variant, but obviously, with him looking like he got shoved into a washing machine full of permanent markers and confetti whilst over 20 times the legal drinking limit, he has access to party time, a special meter that can grant you the biggest high known to man, provided you are able to charge it. The meter can be charged in three different ways, either through killing cannon fodder like weeds or pots, killing enemy players directly, or by earning shared eliminations, an attribute unique to exclusively party characters. Because of this, when initially playing as party imp, you'll want to play somewhat conservatively, picking off opponents that are both alone, and for absolute certain that you'll be able to kill, as you'll want to charge up the meter whenever possible, for upon your untimely demise, if you are not resurrected. All progress made in charging the meter will be lost, so you better hope those crack sniffing shit stains that we call scientists are willing to do their fucking jobs. Or if a good Samaritan decides to exist in your lobby, if you are successful in fully charging the meter, then for the next 30 seconds, you will be blessed with a 50% speed increase, a 25% damage increase, and a 25% damage resistance. With these powers combined, you can effectively mop the floor with just just about fucking anyone who dares step in your way, and if you absolutely need to, you can also flee with the increased speed. Additionally, the activation of party time can heal you up to half your health pool, so it can also be worth it to go all in for the last kill, if it could possibly mean saving yourself and allowing you to start your dominating killing spree. Now of course, with every imp variant, not only is there the imp himself to look at, but also his massive toy, and I'm not on about what your stepsister uses as a sad excuse to cure her depression. I am of course referring to his party mech, which is also exactly the same as the stock mech in all of its attributes, having the same missile madness and foot stomp as the stock mech, along with the same primary, although this time there are two differences here. The first and most noticeable difference is the fact that this mech has the shortest duration out of any Z mech in the entire game, at only 50 seconds. This is even shorter than the likes of the drake or shrimp mech, so it is strongly advised that you make the most out of the mech whenever you can. The other difference is that whilst the mech's primary is exactly the same in most places, it actually does one more damage at all distances, essentially just making it like the party imp's primary, in just being a better version of stock. Although that is to be debated, given the mech's shortened duration, pretty much every strategy that works with the stock Z mech works with the party mech, although there is an additional strategy one can do that can transform the party mech into an absolute fuck monster, because of PopCap's massive intelligence in making their games out of sticks and glue. There's a neat little trick you can do, that can make the party mech even stronger. Simply put, the first step is to almost completely charge your party time meter whilst you play as the imp, and then hop in your mech. Then, all you need to do, is qualify for a shared kill, and because of internal game jank, you can achieve party time whilst in the party mech, allowing you to very easily just steamroll the enemy team so fucking hard. Not only due to you making the primary weapon even stronger, but party time's effects also apply to both missile madness and the stomp abilities respectively, so you can shit on the enemy's will to live so fucking hard that they'd have a better chance in shitting in their own hands and clapping than actually being able to defeat you in this more powerful state. The optimal upgrade setup for the party imp would be the damage, health, and ammo upgrades, with the damage and health upgrades being especially important as the damage upgrades 
upgrade not only allows you to further amplify your damage output, but it also stacks with party time, making it do even more fucking damage. And the health upgrade, since imps benefit from the 10 extra health due to how small their hitbox is, and party time's half health self healing capabilities. In terms of strengths, the party imp is essentially just an upgraded version of stock in most cases, with its extra ammo, party time, and extra damage on the mech's primary. The ability to obtain party time whilst in the mech allows you to essentially snowball the enemy team with a boosted missile madness, and just rain hell with little opposition. However, like every other imp, because you only have 75 health, you are going to be fragile as shit, and susceptible to damage over time and sources of burst damage. The Z-Mech for Party Imp is also the shortest in its duration, at only 50 seconds, so you don't get much use out of the mech with its significantly shorter duration, so you will need to think strategically, in order to get the most out of those 50 seconds. Thanks to this guide, you will now be the master of snowballing the enemy team into leaving the fucking game, as you make it no longer for them to play, and all the fun will be yours for the rest of time. Be sure to come back for the next episode in 2 weeks. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe for more shit like this. Have fun.